the impact of Rung's mutation is far reaching and it really entirely depends on the nature of the mutation. So about one third of known mutations, and we've just published a, a summary of that in a recent review in experimental hematology. One of my postdocs, Sophie Kellaway, wrote this and researched, collected information about several hundred rung type mutations. So about one third of, new, of known mutations are the cause of a disease called familial platelet disorder. And that affects the, the uh, uh, maturation of megakaryocytes into platelets. And we need platelets for blood clotting. So, and as the name says, these mutations run in families, and very often uh, uh, they uh, the, these these people also then develop AML later in life when they get older. So, but two thirds of the mutations give rise to AML directly, and the gene regulatory networks maintaining such AML subtypes are extremely heterogeneous. It really depends on the position of the mutation in the Rungs protein and the presence of other mutations. It makes a difference whether the mutated pro Rungs one protein can still bind to DNA or not. And uh, uh, we've published a paper uh, last year in Life Science Alliance where we could show that a Rungs protein that cannot bind to DNA nevertheless completely abrogates Rungs action the, uh, uh, and as it interferes with the wild type protein, which is also present in these cells. All of these Rungs mutations are heterozygous. You very rarely find one that is a, a, a cell that has both alleles uh, mutated. And, it, and, and the mutations where both alleles are mutated, they are very specific ones, as far as I can see. Anyway, so you, got, you, you have this, this, this aberrant protein that it completely blocks the binding of rungs one to its, to its target. And so, and so the question now is, you know, what do the different rungs proteins do? As I said in my previous uh, answer to your question, rungs proteins seem to cooperate with all kinds of other proteins within the within AML cells. So, and depending on what mutation you have, these cooperations will will be affected. So. To try and understand the molecular impact of Rungs 1 on normal and malignant blood cell development is therefore still a very highly active field of research. We know we've just about scratched the surface of what these different proteins do and what their effect is and uh, on, on how you know the epigene, the, the chromatin landscape changes from one differentiation stage to another. And if you then express these aberrant proteins, how that subtly, but eventually deadly <laughs> uh, uh, affects, uh, uh, affects blood cell development. 